welcome back to decor and more with Lisa today I'm going to be working on a decor piece and it is going to be a centerpiece I'm going to be using and hot glue gun uh oh I'm going to be using this pretty decorative bow I'm going to be using what I call shredded paper I'm going to be using some lights I purchased from I believe I got these from Michaels. They were like 40 to 60% off. And then I'm going to be using this. This is going to be my main centerpiece, this lantern. I also purchased this from Michaels as well and they were like 60% off. All right, let's get into it. So first I'm going to take the foam out of this lantern and I'm going to get my bow together. And by the way, um, I did not make this bow. Um, I can make these, um, but I did get someone to make this for me. Her name is Jessica, and you can go and visit her on Facebook. She does have a Facebook page. Um, Jess, J-E-S-S -S -S for crafts. Thank you, Jessica. A lot of times I, I be so busy, I have so much to do until small things that I can get someone to do, I do um, allow them. That's helping their business out as well. So I do lean on a few people to make things for me when I can't do it myself. So I'm just right now just trying to do what I call fluff. I'm trying to fluff the bow out. And if you want to wait until you get it on your piece, if you're putting the bow onto something, you can wait until you get it on there. Because I'm sure once I put it on here, I'm going to adjust a little bit more. Also too, I do have a tie on the back. If I want to just tie it on here, I can. But I want it to stay because it does have to go from here to someone somewhere else. So I want to make sure that it's going to be stable. I kind of want to put it to the side where it looks like it's hanging off. So I'm just going to put glue on the back here. So what I'm doing here is I'm just taking it and I'm just pressing it. And there's no rhyme or reason to how you put it on. It's just up to your liking what your taste is and what look you're going for and the event that i'm doing these centerpieces for um the colors are the royal blue black silver and of course white and if you have some pieces that are sticking out and you want to tuck them in you can also use the glue gun to tuck those pieces in as well too. Anything that's folded or curled up, you want to you want to straighten those pieces out as well. Okay, this is what it's looking like so far. And then the little hook that's right here, I want it to be leaning to the back. I don't want it to be covered. Okay, so now I'm going to open this box of lights I am going to have batteries in there but I'm not going to put the batteries in there as of yet they have them well secured in here just bear with me if you're new to the channel please go ahead and subscribe to the channel like this video Click on that notification bell so you know when I post. And also, leave comments down in the comment section. This channel is not only for me, it is for you guys as well too. If you have questions for me, if you have a little bit of positive advice for me, you can leave it in the comment section. So I'm going to add the lights to the lantern. At first I thought about 
just purchasing some candles. I said, well, no, that's just the norm. You know, let me try something a little bit different. Because the light has this little sensor box, I don't want it to be seen. So I want to cover it up with this shredded paper. So I'm going to put the base I'm going to put the base of it on the base of the lantern and before I put the lights in I'm going to go ahead and put my shredded paper in here and of course it has little dividers in here where the paper sticks out so at the end I'm going to either trim that paper or try to push it back in. But I want to put as much paper as possible in here just to ensure that the lights are not all to the bottom, that they're at the top as well too. But you need to put your, your base of your sensor box facing outward so you can just put your finger in like this and be able to click it on. Okay. And this will last up, I believe, until, what does it say? I think it says it lasts up to at least six or seven, six hour time. So if you're having an event um, for four hours, five hours, this will definitely work for you. Okay, now I'm just going to put the lights in here sporadically. I'm gonna try to spread them out as much as possible. So I'm going to lay it down a little bit just so I can see, get more paper in here. This paper can be, the shredded paper can be a, be a headache because it gets all over everywhere. And I may have to go back and add more in here. And that's okay if you need to add more. It just depends on your look. And as you guys can see, you can see the little papers, the little trimmers seeping out. So just try to tuck those back in. And if it's being stubborn, then all you do is you can just pull it out. But be careful with pulling it out because two, three, four pieces may come out as well too. Okay. So this is my final look of my centerpiece it looks really really cute you can see the lights I hope you can see the lights in there and my bow is not going anywhere once we get to the location of the event we're gonna fluff it out you know a little bit more you know on the table but this is the finished product and if you guys notice those who who watch my um welcome to my channel video um i was actually in a different room today i'm in my craft room so this is the room that i do all of my crafts in make everything that i need to to make so it all happens and goes down in this space um i do make things for people um i do have a another business it's called t-shirts galore and more um where i make t-shirts i make um um, backdrops for people um, I just do you know different types of designs I do um, cups such as this one you'll see me having this one a lot because I'm on my water fix so this helps me by drinking out of this big container so I did make this as well too if you're interested in me making something for you um, just send it to me in the comment section and if I can do it, I will let you know. If I can't, I will let you know um, because I do back my products that I do make. Um, just remember, 
to subscribe to my channel of course I thank you all for doing that for me make sure you click that thumbs up button that lets me know that you like this video also click that notification bell and that lets you know whenever I post and don't forget to leave a comment down in the comment section again thank you guys so much for supporting me and for watching my videos until next time God bless bye bye